scrambles towards Paxman. A sky ball. What in front takes the mark in front of Tegan Cunningham? Couldn't quite pull it down. Now a chance for Drennan. She's got speed to burn. Through the midfield she goes. It's going to go over the head of Greiser. Oh, little one, two. McCarthy back to Greiser. Open goal square. How does this one bounce? Does it bounce through for the Saints? Right across the face. And Caitlin Greiser still probably... Alive. Oh, it's still going. McCarthy might have just got her own ball. She goes the banana and no. Free kick. Saints get the free. And Greiser, who started it, is going to end up with it to and make an goal. early statement. The Saints through Greiser, two last week. She's got the opener tonight. Taking it as Sheriff. Sheriff just pokes it inside 50 and hits up Shelley Scott. Is she too far out to score? I think she is. I'll be the brave one there, Joey. <laughs> Happy to be proved wrong, of course, Kel, but well, I don't think she's got the journey. She's kicked nine goals in her 22 games, Shelley Scott. The former dairy farmer who moved to the city to pursue her career. <laughs> Bob Murphy, take it back. Shelley Scott says, take that. Disposal number two. Sheila just tried to bump Cordner off the footy. It didn't work. Cordner's got it. And then... Uh, it's McCarthy that tackles it to the ground. Going in low, though, was uh, Luke, the first gamer. She did really well, and a player's been injured down there. The umpire still says play on. A Melbourne player down behind play. It might be uh, gear on. Didn't look good from a potential ACL point of view. It was that motion without contact. Well, when there's no contact, it's it doesn't look not good, a good does sign, it? does it? No, it Fingers crossed it for young Maddie Gearon. Shovels it out to Ali Drennan. She looks up. Libby Birch has still plonked herself as the loose player, as Bob said. But Greiser did terrific. As a player in the goal square, if she can get it to her, how will it bounce for Gutteridge? She has to sit and wait, but she'll run in and kick a goal. Great play from St Kilda. Well done, Greiser. And on the end of it, Darcy Gutteridge gets her first goal as a saint. O'Day fakes one way and then thumps it into the corridor. One on one. Oh, great, great strong hands. Set upon from Ali Drennan, but was good enough to get the handball back to Daisy Pierce. He'll go inside 50. Big fly at the back. Zanka on the second bite. It's been paid. Terrific mark. How she would have liked then. So Colvin will kick it to the hot spot and then, oh, to rub salt into the wound. Tegan Cunningham. Pinballs around in there. Vesely just hacks the kit. Paxman is everywhere. She can't be stopped. Handballs to Hanks. Gives it off to the run of uh, Colvin and is brought down in a great tackle. McCarthy says no. Nah. I'd be locking it down. Three and a half minutes. They've been defending so well all night. Pierce though. She's still got something to say in this contest. Clever kick. Just pulled the kick in board. It was well done. Finds McCarthy. So McCarthy, we know she wants to take on the opposition at every opportunity. She does it again, gains an extra 15 metres. Absolutely, and Greiser, right. the one hand. Oh. This will absolutely bring the Moorabbin crowd to their feet. She's launched wow. in an absolute mile. Wow. Oh, look at that. Oh, Greiser oh. from 55, the drink G train. Like the old days of Moorabbin's gone bang. And the Saints are in front. And the crowd here at Moorabbin rise. And time is St Kilda's friend. All the fans here at Moorabbin have closed on right down to the boundary fence. They want to celebrate this history-making moment with the Saints. They're about to produce the upset of the season. The AFLW newbies bring down the mic.